Hi friends, welcome to Gyan Vigyan Foundation's Ayer Academy and you are watching my YouTube channel Gyan Vigyan Foundation. So friends, today in this video, we shall try to understand one another subtopic in physics. That is about the applications of Newton's second law of motion. The first application is about a football. So let us see about it. Uh, while kicking a football, we exert a force in a particular direction. So here, the larger energy applied to kick the football, the larger the force we apply on it and the ball travels with a larger speed. Then now we shall see the second application that is about a loaded cart. So here it is difficult to pull a loaded cart than to push an empty cart thereby indicating the requirement of more mass, more acceleration. So friends, here we have seen the applications of Newton's second law of motion. And now let us try to understand about the Newton's third law of motion. So it states that whenever two bodies interact with each other and one object exerts a force on the second object, then the second object will also exerts an equal and opposite force on the first object. The examples of Newton's third law of motion is discussed as under. So we shall see it one by one. The first example is about a swimmer. Here, a swimmer moves ahead by moving the water stream backwards during swimming. And the second example is about a gun. Uh, so here, the gun puts a force on the bullet that propel it forward when a bullet is shot from a gun. So friends, this was about the Newton's third law of motion with its examples. So now friends, let us try to understand about the next term that is the momentum and impulse. So the momentum is a measurement of mass in motion and it can be defined as the product of mass and velocity. Therefore, capital M denotes for momentum is equal to small m into v, capital V that is. So here uh, the small m is nothing but the mass of the object and the capital V is termed as the velocity of the object. Now friends, let us see about the impulse. An impulse is a physical phenomenon which occurs whenever two objects collide with each other. For example, when a car crash with another car, then each car experiences an impulse and also all objects in motion possesses momentum. Therefore, impulse is equal to change in momentum which is calculated by taking the difference between the final and the initial momentum. So friends, by now you might have understood my subtopic in physics and if you have understood my subtopic in physics, then please subscribe, comment and like my channel.